<laughs> Sorry. Oki? Oki needy? Are we recording now? Hi. <laughs> Are we on? Yes? Oh, we're on. Hi, Internet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I missed I missed when you hit the start recording button. Welcome back to our English language YouTube channel. My name is Alicia, and today we're going to talk about prepositions of location. So last week we talked about uh, prepositions of time. This week we're going to talk about prepositions of location. So last week we talked about ah, uh, uh, at, and on, and by, for example. This week we're going to do a little bit differently. All right, so as people join, I'll say hi, but actually there were a lot of viewer questions uh, last week that I want to talk about. You guys had really good questions from last week, um, so I want to mention that. Uh, hi from Colombia, Liz from Colombia, hi. I'll try to <laughs> say hi to people, but there's a lot I want to talk about. Some really good preposition questions. So I'm going to start there and then I'll come back to YouTube and Facebook comments when Facebook is up. Maybe Facebook has started. Anyway, uh, the first thing that I want to look at, uh, someone named Patrick Wan asked, uh, what's the difference between in time and on time? In time and on time. Great question. In time means to complete something before a deadline. There's some kind of deadline you have to finish things by. Uh, oh, Facebook, you're up. And on time means uh, an action is completed at the correct time or is going to be completed at the correct time. So in time means there's some deadline you have to finish things by. On time means going to be completed by a deadline. Great question, Patrick. Okay, another question I want to mention was from Rene Kanya, uh, who asked, can we use the preposition at with midnight and noon? Yes, you can. Uh, we talked last week about using at with times, like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Um, but we can use at with uh, noon and midnight. They are times, technically. Okay. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Also, let's see. Let's see. Everybody is joining. Oh my gosh. Facebook is up. Hi. Uh, let's see. From Algeria, Sauzan. Let's see. I'll take a break from answering people's questions and look at comments for a minute. Um, let's see. Hi, Yash on Facebook. Imal on Facebook. Hello. Uh, let's see. Who else? Wow, Rosalind D. Hi, uh, Alice Mao on YouTube. Hello, Francisco from on YouTube from Mexico. Hi, Julie Julio. Hi again. Thanks for coming back. That's great. Um, from Pakistan on Facebook, Casio. Uh, hello, ah, uh, Julio. Yes, sorry. On Facebook, a few people have asked what happened to my hand. <laughs> so, um, yeah, everybody's asking what happened to my hand. Uh, it's not it's not so serious, but yeah, I was uh, I was washing dishes two days ago in my in my house and suddenly a cup just broke when I was washing dishes and I cut my hand. I cut my hand. So uh, it's not so serious, but I shouldn't move it. So I have this lovely bandage on it today, but I'm okay. Thank you for your concern. Yeah, some of you, some of you wrote to me on Twitter about it already. <laughs> Thank you for your comments. But yeah, I cut my hand. I cut my hand. Uh, on a broke, a dish broke, a cup broke in my, in my kitchen a couple days ago. So now I have a bandage. Cooking accident. Okay. So yes, thank you for your comments. Uh, let's see. Portal from Indonesia. Hello on YouTube. Uh, Shadfar from Iran. Hello on YouTube. Moyes from Pakistan. Hi. Yes, I'm fine now. I'm good. The, it hurts a little, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes. If you are just joining us today, our topic for today is prepositions of location. Prepositions of location. We're going to talk about using at, on, no, at, and by, and in, and into, and onto today. Yeah. So if you're just joining, I cut my hand in a, in a kitchen accident. It's okay. <laughs> but I have to wear this now for a bit. Okay. Yes, it is 11 o'clock here, just after 11 o'clock here. Okay. Let's see a couple more questions uh, that you guys had last week. Um, 
Someone said, uh, "What Fatma Hamdi said? What、uh, preposition should I use with dates? So, like the twentieth of September, the fifteenth of January. So you should use on with a date. So think about it. Last week we talked about using on with days. So like on Sunday, on Monday, use it the same way with a date. On the twentieth of September. On the fifteenth of January. On the nineteenth of August, for example." Okay, then let's see. Hello, Amira from Egypt.、Uh, Carlos, no, I'm not in Brazil.、Uh, on Facebook, Hort Meng Hung. Hello,、uh, Muhammad on Facebook. Hi, Javier. Hello on Facebook. Alexandro on YouTube. Hi.、Uh, let's see, Yang Jian on Facebook. Chinese but from Australia. Hi, Yasser on Facebook. Hello. Uh, Milena, cooking is dangerous. <laughs> Cooking's not so dangerous.、It's, this was just a strange, mis- like accident. My cup just broke when I was washing it. So, oh well. Okay.、Um, let's see. I have a couple more questions. You guys had really good questions. Oh, but time is going quickly. So let's see. Maybe I should look at the difference between by 8 p.m. and at 8 p.m. That will be the last one I talk about today. So Francois Dufort says, could you explain the difference between by 8 p.m. and at 8 p.m.? Okay. So first, if you want to know more about by, there is a、uh, a YouTube video up on the channel about by versus until. So check that out for a few more examples about how to use by. Um, but by tells us a deadline, so we have to finish something by <clears throat> 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. is just telling us the time when an action is going to happen. It's just giving us information. When is something going to happen? By tells us a deadline for something. Okay. All right. Uh, time's going quick. Yes, so lots of people have joined. Great, thank you for your comments.、Uh, let's see, Hernan, you're new. Welcome, Hernan D on YouTube. Wis、uh, Vicent、uh, on YouTube from Poland. It's 4 a.m. Oh my gosh! Thank you for watching.、Um, let's see, what else? Angelo on Facebook. Hello from Mexico. Great, thank you for coming. Okay. Uh, yes, if you've just joined, today's topic is prepositions of location. Prepositions of location. We're going to talk about this a little bit. Also, if you have just joined, please make sure to hit the like button. It really helps、uh, other people to find the video.、Um, so please hit the like button as you join. Very helpful for us. Oh yeah, there's other ways to share it here too. All right. As I did last week, every week I have、uh, an example of how I use last week's grammar point. Well, actually, this is my this example is every week for me.、Um, this is my my tweet from last week, my example tweet. This week's live stream starts in five. In five. So basically, when I share live stream information on Twitter, I always use this pattern in five. So last week we talked about using.、Um, Uh, the preposition in before a period of time. Here I removed five minutes, but it means in five minutes. This live stream starts in five minutes, so I use this preposition actually every week. Okay, ooh, it's warm. But let's begin today's topic. We have lots of people here now, so、um, this week we're going to talk again about prepositions, but in a different. Way. So I want to start with the preposition、uh, at. So we had someone last week. We had、uh, Saina Chen who asked at my place or on my place, which is the correct preposition. So the correct preposition is at my place. At my place. So today again, I have whiteboard,、um, but、uh, I have. I'm going to take a little time <laughs> to write today. My hand is out of commission.、Uh, so we're going to use at. Uh, to talk about an exact location or a specific place, this is when we use at. So at is used for an exact location, some place that is specific. No. Okay. So at a first item today, at is used for exact locations. Exact locations. So for example, at my desk or at the table or at the office. At the bank, at home, a specific location we use at to you to talk about that. So, for example, I'm at my desk right now,、uh, or I'm at the office. 
So, as we do every week, let's try to make a few example sentences with this preposition. Fernando, yes, you already have one on Facebook. I'm at my place. Nabil says, I'm at home watching you. Good. So, uh, for first example question today, uh, where are you watching this video? Where are you watching this video? So, I'm watching this video at school. I'm watching this video at home, at the office, at the bank at the bar. <laughs> I don't know. Where are you watching this video? So this is usually a place, a place. Uh, so at my desk, uh, at the office, for example. Uh, trivia freak at the airport. Wow, cool. Okay. Uh, Angelica. Hey, Angelica. Uh, I'm at home watching this video at home. Nice. Uh, Garrison says at my chair for chair. We'll actually use in my chair. Because uh, chair, we don't really think of a chair as like a location. Chair is more of like an object, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I'm watching this video at my bed. We'll actually use in for that. In my bed. You are inside your bed. We'll talk about in in just a moment. Uh, Liz says, I'm watching this video at home. Yes, good. Uh, I'm watching this video at school. Nice. Uh, oh, there's a question on YouTube. Will this be live later to watch? Yes, you can watch this video again later. Please check our YouTube page or our Facebook page. You can watch this anytime. And actually, someone had a really good tip. If the speed of the content is too fast, you can replay the video on YouTube a little bit slower. That's really cool, yeah? Okay, so please, yeah, check it out there. Okay, I'm watching your video at home. Good. Watching the video in my bathroom. We'll talk about in in just a moment. Watching this video under the sea. No, no at there. No at there. Uh, let's see. Ooh, lots of people are using in, but we need to use at. So a specific location for at. We're going to talk about in next. Uh, let's see. At the university. Good. At home. Good. At my house. At home with my daughter. Good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, lots of people at home. Good, good, good. Uh, yes, everybody, most people are at home. One person is in the, in the airport. <laughs> uh, at my home, good. Uh, at the pool, really? Watching this video at the pool? Okay. Uh, watching this video, ah, for the moon? <laughs> the moon is kind of special. Uh, watching this video on the moon, on the moon, actually. Okay, Sergio on YouTube, I'm watching this video at the grocery store. Really? Are you shopping? Okay. Mm -hmm. Silvio says, uh, my boss doesn't know, but I'm watching it at work. <laughs> That's funny. At the coffee shop, Tao says. Great. Okay. Good. So we use at for an exact location, like at home, at the bank, at the office, at work, at the pool. But the next one I want to talk about is in. Many of you have already started using in. Uh, but we should, we should use it uh, in and at a little bit differently. So... Give me a second. I take a long time to write right now. <laughs> I can't open it. Okay. Uh, okay. So when should we use in? Many of you said uh, your bed, for example, or your bathroom, for example. These are spaces which are uh, enclosed or surrounded by something else or like the pool even. We use, okay, to give a visual, we use in for locations like where we're enclosed or surrounded by something. So some of you said in bed. You should have said in bed, not at bed. You are in your bed. You are surrounded by your bed. So we use in in that case. If you are swimming in the pool, you are in the pool, not at the pool. You are surrounded by the pool. So we use in in this case. Uh, so some of you, uh, like Samuel on Facebook just said, I'm watching this video in my car right now. Perfect. In my car. Because he is surrounded by his car right now. He's enclosed by his car. Good. So, uh, yes, in the restroom. Uh, Vinicius on YouTube. In my bedroom. In Brazil. Perfect. So in your bedroom. In Brazil. Both are correct. In your bedroom is a place you're surrounded by, like physically, and Brazil is the country you are surrounded by. Perfect. Good. So yes, I'm watching this video at home in my room. Yeah? So the specific place and the place you are enclosed by. At and in. So enclosed, surrounded. This is sort of the image of in. Okay, so let's try to use in in a sentence. Some of you are already doing that. 
Um, so next question will be, where are you now? Where are you now? I'm in some location. So some people, I'm watching this video in my bed at home, Liz. Nice. Okay, I'm listening to this video in my office. Good. I'm watching this video in my attic. Good. Uh, I'm watching this video in my bed. Okay. Um, let's see. In, let's see. In the mall. Okay, good. In my city. In my city. Uh, I'm watching this. Lots of people are watching in bed. <laughs> End of the day for you, maybe. Uh, let's see. In my bedroom. Good. Uh, be careful. Someone's at in the beach. Remember, you're not surrounded by the beach. Yeah. So the beach we use at. It's a specific location. Mm, there's, you're not surrounded by the beach mm, in that case. Okay. I am in my study room. Good. Uh, let's see. What should we use with I'm presently in or at Brazil? Use in Brazil. In Brazil. Brazil is all around you. For countries and cities, in. Please use in for countries and cities. Okay. Uh, I'm in jail. Nice. Jail. That's correct. In jail. In my living room. Good. In my dream. Oh, okay. I'm in my office. Good. I'm in the mall. I'm in the teacher's lounge. Uh, for your sofa, be careful. You are not surrounded by a sofa, right? You're on your sofa. On your sofa. We're not talking about on today, unfortunately, but mm. no, no on, uh, in for sofas. On your sofa. In my bedroom. Good. In the kitchen. Good. Uh, in Thailand. Nice. Okay. In a ship. In my dream. <laughs> good. Uh, in the office and at the office. Actually, good question on YouTube. Uh, in the office and at the office. Both are correct. Both are correct because you are surrounded by your office and the office is a specific location. Um, both are fine to use. Both are fine. Okay. Uh, great. So we use in for s things places we are surrounded by. So in the swimming pool. Uh, let's see. Um, he's in the shower, for example, or they're in a dark movie theater, or I'm in the studio. I'm in an office. I'm in a soundproof box. <laughs> so we use in in this way. Okay. A very hot box. Yes, the producer says it is very warm in here. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go to, um, let's see. Oh, I have one one more. Well, I'll come back to this point later if there's more time. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to buy. So we talked about buy last week for deadlines. Yeah. And if you check the YouTube video that's up on the channel, you saw buy is used uh, a, a lot kind of with uh, until to talk about changes or to talk about deadlines with actions. But today we're going to talk about buy. Uh, for uh, a location, a location. So let me draw my picture. <laughs> I love the picture. Uh, so by has the meaning of near or close to something else. So near or close to something else is the meaning of by. So here I'm, here's my box for in, yeah? Here's maybe a dot that is by this box. It's near this box. So by is uh, something we use to talk about uh, close to items which are close to or near something else. Um, so some examples, we could say uh, I'm by the park or by the coffee maker, uh, by my keys or uh, I'm by my house right now. It means near something. Near. Ah, near. Okay. So near something is by. Okay. Uh, Marcelo, good question on YouTube. Why is it in bed and on the sofa? Because when you are sleeping in your bed, there's like blankets. Yeah. You are like inside something, but you don't climb into your sofa, right? So it's on the sofa. We lay on the sofa, but it's in bed. There are blankets and things. You are inside blankets. Hmm. Okay. So, but let's make sentences with by now, by now. So look around, what's around you right now? So what is near you right now? Let's make a sentence with this. So our example here, ah, something different. Uh, what is near you right now? So for example, I'm sitting by the microphone. I'm sitting by my phone. I'm sitting by the mouse. I'm not touching the mouse. I'm sitting by the keyboard. What is something by you right now? 
Yeah. So we could say he's by your house. Oh, here it is. What is near you right now? What is near you right now? I'm sitting by what? Okay, nice. Oscar, I'm by my TV and PC. Good. Uh, Mark Michelle on Facebook. I read my book by the light. Very nice. Uh, Garrison, I'm sitting by my smartphone. Good. Mayor, I'm sitting by my grammar books. Nice. Uh, Milena, I'm by my aunt's restaurant. Okay. Luis, I'm by the police station. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Games and songs. There's a night table by my bed. Good. Um, let's see. What's another good one? I'm by the window. Facebook. Good. Sitting by my computer. Guillermo. Nice. I'm by the kitchen. Good. Uh, by my side. Nah, -uh, nobody here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Danielson sitting by the table. Good. Uh, watching this by my kitchen. Good. Um, let's see. Sitting by my dog's toys. Good. Sitting by my purse. Lying by my drums. Water filter by my desk. Wow. Knitting by the refrigerator. Uh, let's see. This lesson is being explained by the teacher. Yes, that's true, but that is not a preposition of location. That sentence is correct, but it is not a preposition of location. Uh, let's see. Watching video in bed by the computer, by the fan, by the dog, by the... Oh my gosh, there's so many comments. Um, school by bus. Good. I'm by my cell phone. Uh, by my supermarket. Sitting by my PS4. Nice. Um, let's see. On Facebook, I'm sitting by friends. Great. Okay. Uh, another on Facebook. Sorry, I can't read your name. I'm sitting by my laptop. Good. Trivia freak. My pooch is by my side. Good. Pooch is slang for dog. Pooch is slang for dog. Good. Okay, great. By my guitar as well. All right. Nice. So this is uh, how we use by to mean near or close to. Okay. So uh, let's talk about, let's see, we should talk about this week. We also have uh, free PDFs to share with you guys. So I think you're going to see them in just a moment. Uh, so every week we have some kind of special item to introduce to you. And this week uh, we have a PDF, these PDF cheat sheets uh, that you can take a look at. So I think you're going to see them in just a moment. No, maybe not. Okay. Well, if not, then we can talk about something else. No, nope. oh, here they come. Okay, good. So <laughs> here are our PDFs uh, for this week. Uh, if you, I think at the bottom of this page, you can find this page in the in the link uh, that's in the description on YouTube or on Facebook above the video. So if you're watching on YouTube, please download this. You can find the link below the video on YouTube or above the video if you're watching on Facebook. Okay, so these cheat sheets, you can check for good vocabulary words, uh, some good phrases you can use in different situations. So if you need to use uh, English at work or when you're traveling or something, you can download these. Uh, they're PDFs, so you can put them on your phone, you can uh, use them offline, or you can print them out, which is really convenient. You don't need inter internet access to use these. So some of you have said that you don't have internet access always where you are. So. Uh, these could be useful for you. Yeah. So please check that out. You can find the link in the description on YouTube, below the video, above the video, on Facebook. Please download those. All right. Good. So, uh, very nice. If you're just joining us today, we are talking about prepositions of location. We have talked about uh, by and in and at so far. If you missed it, um, if you are just joining, you can watch this video uh, back on YouTube or on Facebook. So please don't worry. Um, you can you can watch what we've already talked about. And also, yes, if you're just joining, I cut my hand. A glass broke in my kitchen while I was washing it. That's all. Thank you for your concern. OK, let's see. Let's go to our next. Oh, yes, our next uh, maybe pair, our final pair of uh, items for today. The last two I want to talk about are into and out of. So hang on. I have I'm going to draw a picture. I am not an artist. I'm going to tell you that right now. So to make this visual, hopefully a little bit clear. Oh, no. I'm not an artist at all. Okay, to make this visual hopefully a little bit more clearly, uh, the difference between like in and into, I want to make a little building. Okay, so this is a lovely house I have drawn. Here we go. Okay, 
So we use into, the preposition into, for moving into an enclosed space. So here, ah, here my, my stick person is moving into a house. So open space to closed space. We use the, the preposition into in this case. So uh, for example, let's see, uh, my brother walked into my house, for example, or uh, the bear moved into the woods, or maybe I put food into my refrigerator. So moving from an open space to a more closed space. We use into for this, into. Or like, uh, uh, he put my wallet into his bag. So open space to closed space. This is how we use into. Open space, going in, we use into, a more closed space here. Okay, so let's try to use into in a sentence. So what is something, let's think of like an everyday action that you do. What is something you do every day? This is my example sentence here. What is something you do every day? So every day I, so here should be a verb phrase, yeah? Every day I, something, something, into, something, something. Very open, very open example sentence here. So for example, every day I get into bed at 11 p.m. Or every day I put food into my stomach. <laughs> or uh, let's see, every day I push my friend into a swimming pool. <laughs> That's not true, but we can use, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I don't really do that. Just an example sentence. Um, so what do you do every day, every day? So we're showing there's something happening. We're moving from a op an open location to a more closed location. Nice, okay, good example sentences. I'll take you into my country. Good. I'm walking into the school. Good. Uh, Mar Marel Adin, sorry, on YouTube says, I am into you. Different use of that one. Different use of into. That's not showing movement, really. Uh, into you, into something. Uh, I'm into, noun phrase, means interested in something. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes, I do always say the word, let's see, because I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trying to see everything. Uh... I play music in my house, in my house. If you're playing music with a speaker, directing it into your house, okay. But I play music into my house, probably should be I play music in my house. Diego, nice one. I put the books into the locker. Good. Nice one. Um, what else? Daniel on YouTube, my dog runs into my room. Good. On YouTube, I put petrol into my bike. Good. I jump into the hole. Good. Um, let's see. Ah, it's going fast. Every day I put money into a piggy bank. Nice. I put some ice cubes into a glass of cola. Nice one. That was good. I go into my company in order to work. Nice. I play music into my house. Be careful. Some of you have used this sentence. I play music in my house. In my house. The move. The music is not moving into or out of anything. I play music in my house. Good. Uh, on Facebook, every day I put my cell phone into a drawer. Good. Uh, every day I prepare food. How about I put food into a refrigerator? Then it's perfect. Uh, I put my wallet into my pouch, maybe? Nice, Facebook, okay. Makoto, hi, from Japan. Uh, I went into my company. Good, 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 good. So, nice. So, movement. We are showing movement with into, a, from an open space to a closed space. So, the image, if you're a person, if you're walking, maybe, you go from outside to inside something else, into something. So, uh, Eridas on YouTube, I try to put English into my head, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's really good. Okay. But we're running out of time, as always. So let's look at our last preposition for today, which is the opposite of into. The opposite of into also shows movement. Yeah. So it also shows movement, but in the opposite direction. Into, the opposite being out of. Out of. So maybe I'll draw another arrow just for the sake of consistency. Ta da. Okay. So, moving out of, so from a surrounded or an enclosed area to a more open area, yeah? We use out of to show this movement. So, out of my house, out of the school, 
out of the bank, for example. Good. So let's use the same sentence then. What is something you do every day, but with out of? Out of. So let's see. Uh, like I get out of bed at 8 a.m. Every day I get out of bed at 8 a.m., for example. Or uh, every day I take my phone out of my bag. Or every day I get out of my house. Or I go out of my house, too. So let's use the opposite form. Let's use out of to talk about moving from an enclosed location to a more open location. Okay. I should be an artist? Yeah, my artwork is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, so let's make an out of sentence and then we'll finish for today. Okay, lots of good into ones still coming in. Out of. Oh, good. I put my dog out of my house. All right, good. Or I take my dog out of my house. Good. Uh, on Facebook, I go out of my ship. Really? Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, on Facebook, I take my I take my dog I take out of my dog to the park. Close. I I would say I take my dog to the park because uh, what what is moving there? Like out, we use out of to to show something moving t from an enclosed location. So you could say I take my dog out of my house, or I take my dog to the park, but not out of the park. That's when you leave the park. Okay. Uh, let's see. So movement, movement. Oh, nice one. Carlos on YouTube. I need to get out of my room. Good. Claudia on Facebook. Every day I run out of my job. Nice. Um, what else? Every day I go out of my house in the early morning. Kayo, nice one. Uh, Angelica, I'm walking out of the classroom. Perfect. Um, let's see. Every day I take my cat out of my city. Okay. <laughs> Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, sekai. Every day I run out of the woods. Oh, a very dramatic example sentence there. Good one. Um, every day I put, uh, I put my clothes out of my room. Hmm, maybe every day uh, I take my clothes out of my room. Remember, we need to use a verb that shows movement here. Um, so take out or go. Some movement is happening there. Okay. Uh, Vinicius, every day I take money out of my pocket. Nice. Every day I go out of my room. Nice. Uh, I run out to my yard. Um, what else? Lots of good ones. Lots of good ones. Great. So just a short time to recap, to review a few uh, prepositions of location. So at, in, by, into, and ah, and out of for today. Okay, so uh, if you were late, if you're just joining us, sorry, uh, but you can watch this video on our YouTube channel or Facebook channel, so please check it out there. Also, please make sure to like the video, this video live, uh, as it really helps us and it helps other people to find the video too. So please make sure to hit the like button. It would be very helpful for us. Uh, but we have to finish up for today, uh, unfortunately. So for next week, next week's broadcast, same time, same place, it will be 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on September 27th. That's Wednesday night, Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a lot of you have asked about how to use present perfect tense, like have you ever, I have never, I have been to, mm. that grammar point. So we're going to talk about present perfect tense next week. That'll be a good one. So yes, please join us again next week at this time for a discussion of present perfect tense. If you have any questions, please uh, leave us a comment. Yeah, because we can check them and review your questions after this live session. And I'll talk about them next week. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Please, please, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and check us out at EnglishClass101.com. You are going to see our free PDFs again in just a moment when I leave. So thanks very much, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.